what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. I got this one from my buddy Kajil. I think that's how you say his name. Now, Brian Hopkins out on Facebook did this today. i would gotten this a couple days ago, and I've been meaning to do some stuff, but I've had to, so much to get done before uh, the Jam Fest tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, going up to uh, Chestertown, Maryland, just barely getting this in. And uh, he had sent me this email, um, and he said, look at this thing. This looks like some sort of ritual burial mound or something like that. It looks like a skull shape on this rock here, along with some sort of little, I don't know, mound or something. It looks like it's kind of falling over next to it. And uh, to me, this picture is pretty cool either way, whether it is or not. And here's where you get it from. This is from 706. So much stuff has been coming in on these latest saws, I tell you what, from 703 to the latest, they're just packed with anomalies. I mean, I'm a, I could make videos forever <laughs> just using this stuff here. And it's amazing what you can actually see on these and the uh, the regolith around it and then just, just the randomness to the rocks. What so seems to be little carved masks and stuff like that with noses, mouth, eyes. I mean, perfect stuff. Let me see if we can't go ahead and start just, just adjust the color a little bit. Um, down here see this with the mask and the nose what I'm pointing at right here check it out here's the eyeballs here's the mask here's the nose let me sharpen this up just a tad actually you know what let me do something let me do image let me do a little bit of the exposure first just give it a little bit of gamma hit OK and then I'm just gonna do image no nope. filter sharpen smart sharpen I'm just going to sharpen it just a tad. See how it just gives a little bit more finesse there. And now I've also got the sharpen tool over here I could use. But see how this pulls it out a lot more. You can see the uh, the actual the lines of the, the size. Look at this. The nose come out and over like a human nose. And the mouth is shaped. This looks like some of the masks you would see down south. You'd find in, in uh, you know Mexico, Peru, one of the Mayan civilizations, somewhere along that. But... Look at the ornate just features to everything around it. What it's laying on there is ornate. The whole thing looks to be carved. And uh, whether we're finding this carved by little small men or from something in the past that's been destroyed, I still can't. I say, if you've been watching my videos for like the last probably two years now, I still haven't come to my conclusion on what in the world is going on yet. I tell you what, I can tell you that something happened on Mars that had a lot of heat, a lot of, uh, a lot of things got thrown around there for sure. But the more and more I look at this stuff, hey kitty, I hear you screaming over there, buddy. Um, look at the circle platform looking here. And then down here, I thought this was really kind of odd about this picture. See how this here has got like a perfect, It's it almost looks like a something in the sand's popping up, or it's a different color sand. You've got this strange looking twisty thing here, almost looks like a little bit of life or something, maybe a little slug or something running across the ground. Just kind of twisted and turned it looked like something you see here on earth like a slug or something but tell me that doesn't look interesting and tell you know i'm starting to wonder with these pictures it kind of looks like it's been pasted and copied in there just because there's a square around it there see the little square around it um nasa sure does they, they go a long way to do the blurring and then do the uh you know taking stuff out but this one they didn't do all that much of it there's some of this stuff where you get the blinds effects i call them blinds effects that they usually come across the you know parallel horizontal or vertical lines check this out if you turn this on the side let's see let's read that it says r s s i or r s 51 see that you know, are they making these pictures up in the laboratory sometimes i have to wonder i uh if these this thing's even on mars or if this is like in you know just at the mars yard they take pictures but i do hope that they uh this thing is up there i believe it is i mean no way that we would have figured that out by now. At least somebody would have. I do think that they probably fake a lot of these pictures. I know they're manipulating the pictures. So if they're manipulated, they might as well be fake. That's how I see it. Uh, especially if you're not going to send us the real stuff. So why even do it? You know, why even put them out? Yeah, just to get us excited about it. There's a lot of us who do get excited about it. But I mean, look at the videos on Mars anomalies. Look at the amount of people doing videos on our, like on the Mars anomalies now. It's like out of control. I love it. More and more people, like, if you've got pictures, and you've, there's so many pictures out there to do, and uh, you got ideas, or you think you know what happened, you guys should be making videos, too. I tell you what, more and more people have started coming along and making this, like, a little scene. Uh, from Chris, Christian, uh, Kirsty, 
I've got a couple of new guys I invited into the website last week. I mean, this place is, this thing's really starting to, to get some legs. That's why I did the last video. I did a really generic blend last video, top seven, uh, you know, anomalies, sky anomalies. I know I'm going to get some flack from my subscribers. Cause they're not going to like it because it's, it's very bland. But I want to have something I can give to the general public that's not alien related, that's not UFO related, that they can share with their friends. And maybe when they come in, they'll get pulled into one of the other videos and click on it. And then see something like this where you've got what looks to be an alien skull. And we'll, I'm just using a little sharpen button here, kind of sharpen it up a little bit. I mean, look at it. Look, it's got eyeballs, one there, right in the center of the circle. One there, one there. It looks like it's got like a mouth. It almost looks like one of the... A, like a some sort of crazy helmet or something along those lines that was just tossed up there like maybe this was a little something maybe this was something that crashed you know maybe it's just a rock there that has something that looks like it's a uh, you know <laughs> a, a helmet I can tell you one thing though it's definitely got it's definitely being held up I mean you can see through it here down here at the bottom it actually looks like it if you just follow this, it looks like it takes this pattern right here as I try and sharpen it up a little bit more I really like to sharpen, and, and you see, the camera's taking, it's, you don't get the same quality from one pixel to the next, it's really starting to get bad, and uh, the more and more we look at these, the more and more we see it, but look at all these, uh, when you sharpen this stuff, look at this stuff on the, uh, it almost looks like a little mini, little mini city, like that's where I get back to thinking, what if the little aliens are this big, like the six inch alien thing that they found down in, uh, down south I mean that could be you know who knows Look at this one right here another what looks to be an effigy of a face right by that RS 51 <laughs> class of 51 Ron Smith was here see that there let's take another look at this thing this to me is like the perfect the perfect little mask and when I say little mask it's a pretty nice size mask either way let's see file image let's do auto color Image, auto tune. I wanted to bring it, bring it out a little bit more. Image, adjust, brightness. All right. See the nose that comes out of it. I mean, what are the odds that you would have something that, that I mean, that would look just like a face? It had, looks like it's got an eye dress around it. it. Looks like it's got a nose, a mouth, and it just looks like it's set right up on top of another looking thing. A lot of little mask there. So, I thought that was pretty cool, guys. And if you go back, I'll switch it back so you can see the. There it is. That's the original. So we haven't done much to pull that out. I mean, it's pulled out. It definitely cleans it up a lot, but uh, the original's there. Look how much of a difference it is just by doing a couple filters on Facebook or on Facebook on Photoshop. I don't know how I got that one mixed up. I got my head in the jam fest right now. Excited to go over there and play some music tomorrow. Once off, some more. Look at the shapes in this. Look at this. Just look to seem to be here randomly. Like it, it wasn't just. Everything here seems to be carved, uh, messed around with at one time. Looks like it's very intricate compared to what is here now, what we see. Look at the square blocks that are blurred out. When they do that, when that gets done, how it's getting done, however it's getting done, whether a person's doing it, a machine's doing it, or the camera's doing it, it really does mess up what you see. Um, I can't explain this down here with this, this colored, you know, this off colored, it's almost the same exact size of that circle right there, like this was moving up here or something, or this was lifted from there to there. Like, see, it was here one time, it was lifted to there. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of here, where you've got these shapes to follow each other. Um, and look up there, there's a little circle or little, little, what looks like piece of tube or something like that. Here you've got the, the parallel lines that follow each other, and then they come up and they intersect into these circles. I mean, a lot of this stuff looks like machinery that was just left here, destroyed. Little rock, little strat on the side. I don't know, but there is some strange stuff just sitting around on Mars in there. I tell you, and these saws are really going to be the ones that prove it. Now, what if see? I get told a lot that these little things you see here are the actual little aliens that are up there now. Like, say right here, this would be one. And that's what I imagine if they were carving stuff that would be about this size here that would make this stuff look like, you know, a city. Or is this, where'd it go? Like this one right here. Like this stuff looks to be ornate like you'd see in front of an ancient Egyptian monument or you'd see in front of a, uh, you know, somewhere in China or somewhere. There's so many different places in the world that we have things like that. I should put more of that up in my videos, but I don't. I always, I always, 
you be careful with the copyrights and stuff like that. But I'll, I will start doing that. I will start doing more Earth comparisons for people because sometimes I think we get lost in this Mars stuff. And I realize that a lot of this stuff is just what we see. I see what I see. You see what you see. A lot of matrixing going on. But when I, people come back and say, oh, that's just, you know, that. That's all that is. It's just music. But why? Tell me how there's so many things in one area. That's what I want to. That's what I love to know. How I can see if it's just one thing, two things. Like if I go out and take a picture of, you know, the mountain, just, just you know, a couple hours away. If I drive up the mountains, I take one picture. So I got thousands of pictures on my computer. I can look through them and find maybe one thing that looks anomalous. But I can't look through it and see, you know, 50 things and say if this was Mars, you know, this would be 50 different things here. And just like any of these pictures that come back from the rover, there's so much stuff that shouldn't be shouldn't be there according to how what we were told so all right guys what do you think there things staring right back at us too like zombie <laughs> what's going on guys much love to you what's up in the sky 37 definitely check this one out download this picture put it on your pc and you know, try and sharpen this thing and let me know what you guys think about this one all right guys take it easy peace